The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, has demanded of upgrading electricity transmission lines, system operations and networks in the country. You cannot generate more the than TCN what managing you director Usman Mohammed insists that the company has achieved an 8,100 megawatts willing capacity and currently working on 10,000 megawatts by December 2019. We have signed contracts for five new substations. All those contracts are effective. That means implementation has started. We have commissioned uh, 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 Elisha, we have commissioned uh, the, uh, Meduguri, we have commissioned several other substations, and we have added several new transformers across the region. For Mohammed took time to explain to journalists on the 1.61 billion US dollars multilateral donor funding it secured. He, however, noted that everything TCN is doing on the grid will amount to nothing if distribution companies are not investing on their networks. We have no investment into the network of Disco, and we have to have it. If you don't have it, all this dancing we are going to do. Of course, we cannot say we have to wait to Disco to fix their network before we fix transmission. The reason is that transmission work is more difficult than that of the Disco, because building transmission line takes longer time than building a transmission line. But Disco's have to have their own network. And let me, I've always told you, if you want to know whether we are doing a good job here, go to Kotono or Niger. The power that's consumed in Togo and Kotono and Niger, all of them between 80 and 90 percent is coming from Nigeria. But go there and see whether their power is qualitative or not. And go and see... The TCN has recovered 775 stranded containers abandoned over 10 years at the port, with two missing and one empty. And Mohammed believes the next rehabilitation is a journey on the right track as long as they have the backing of the key industry players. Mwesi Igono, AIT News, Abuja.